as always, it is a frenzied atmosphere inside Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Arrowhead Stadium tunnels, and the noise level in this place was just about off the charts. They're set for football as the Chiefs get set to do battle with the Washington Redskins. Hello again, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And, Charles, we look at this Chiefs ball club. They've got to be pleased with the start to this season. Obviously, a perfect 3-0. Three good quality wins, too. It's got people in the locker room excited. They're thinking that this could be their year. Meanwhile, for the visiting Redskins, they come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. It's 3-0 versus 2-1. A good early season battle as we're underway in Week 4. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. <laughs> and all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Now a play fake here on first down. And he's taken down, a cheap sack. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. And Charles, despite this list of key inactives that we see here, they've obviously still been pretty successful. Give everyone credit for this one, because to me, when that happens, key guys are out. The next man steps up and plays well. But that starts with the organization itself all the way through. No excuses for guys being out. Finding guys who are capable backups who can step up and play when they need them. And we've seen the results of that. This team knows how to work through things. Rob Kelly was the number three rookie runner in the NFL in 2016 behind Ezekiel Elliott and Jordan Howard. What a nice start for him. Seemingly out of nowhere because he was undrafted and I think ready to put his imprint on this Redskin franchise. One reason, he can do everything. Run it with power inside, catch the ball out of the backfield, and also pass protects really well for his quarterbacks. They'll get 11, but still a little short. Fourth down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Now the fourth-year man from Oklahoma, Tress Way on to punt. Tyreek Hill back deep for Kansas City. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. He's going to field this at the four. And some strong running. They'll call that a 61-yard punt. He got all of that one. And the Chiefs are going to take over with a long field ahead and a first and ten. first down and that is caught on the right sideline but out of bounds says the line judge the throw took him a little too far it's second down Second and ten, Smith again. And it's caught over the middle, Wilson. And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. Give him 13 yards there at a Kansas City first down. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag. Because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. On first down, it's Smith. He's got Wilson, middle of the field. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. 
So there on that play, offensively, they ran the crossing route. Defense was in zone coverage. So as a former DB, how tough is it to defend that? It's really difficult because your natural inclination is to chase the receiver and maybe leave your zone. So you have to have discipline in order to talk to your other coverage guys and let them know that that receiver is crossing from your zone to the next zone. He's coming your way. Make sure you have him. And then when the ball is actually thrown, secure the tackle. When they're moving on crossing routes, if you miss a tackle, it usually results in a big play. Oh, that was dangerous. Throw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. And now a look at the Washington defense. There were high hopes in Washington in 2016 as they expected their defense to ascend into a top 10 type of a unit. Instead, it was a struggle all season long. So they had to retool this pass off season. And they're going to start with trying to lock down the running game. Very tough to do in the NFC East. And if they do that, Maybe their Pro Bowl cornerback, Josh Norman, will have more opportunities out on the corner. And a nice gain of 21 yards. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Now the rookie from Toledo, this is Kareem Hunt. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. To throw on second down to Smith. Caught here by Conley. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And, boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. Out of the gun, Smith. And Wilson has it. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. I know from past experience, before you actually play a game, you visualize what's going to happen. And I don't know anyone who doesn't visualize themselves being in the center of what's going on. That's three catches for him here in the early going. He's got to like the way this is started. Absolutely. Three catches on any drive is good. Opening drive, that's a tone setter. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read. Better execution and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. And they're not going to get a playoff here as time will expire on this first. But they face a second and long to start things out. Smith throwing again. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. The game plan for any defense is finding ways to make a quarterback uncomfortable in the pocket. When you bring pressure from all angles, you never know who's going to get home. In this case, the left cornerback right in the face of him puts him down. So the sack of Smith, and now the Chiefs coming up facing third and long. Now Smith, and Hill with it over the middle. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. And they get 13, but it's not nearly enough. And it'll be fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet. Get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. Go, 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 
So on fourth down, Andy Reid decides to send in the field goal unit. This a 33-yard attempt. And Butker able to put this one through. And the Chiefs are out to a 3-0 lead. And Charles, they get the field goal. Took him a dozen plays, though. Work with me on this one. You know what I'm about to say, right? Bend, but don't break. That's what came into play here for the defense. 12 plays were run at them. They only gave up three points. In a lot of ways, that's a win for the defense. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. On the return, here's a speedy Jamison Crowder. Look at the spin. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And here come the Redskins now. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how the defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got to look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. And the Chiefs are going to get him. Derek Johnson coming hard on the blitz. He dumps him for a loss of eight. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. Yeah, blink of an eye. That happened fast and a big sack. way up near the 25. Give him six on the run. They're going to be faced now with a third and 12. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, got to make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. Under four to play now. Clock running, third down. From the gun, here's Cousins. To the sideline, wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it. But he is able to keep the feet in bounds. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. We focus our attention on the Redskins' defense now. And despite being down on the scoreboard, this unit, they've had some big-time hits. Sort of like us at practice the other day. First down, Smith. Over the middle here to Wilson. Finding some room at midfield. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Chiefs first down. Don't just love advanced stats. For Alex Smith last season, 2.38 seconds from the snap to the ball was out of his hand. He's Fast, quick. Fastest of any quarterback in the league. Another instance right there. First and ten, Smith. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And the game just keeps evolving. Big guys running those corner routes, so difficult to cover. Smith sheds off the tackle. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We're back to Arrowhead after this. 
Don't forget, coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Larry Ridley. Larry will have the highlights of this first half, but he won't have touchdowns because we haven't had any to this point. And that is caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. Albert Wilson, his second touchdown on the season. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic. But usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever. There it results in a touchdown. And his kick is good. So that drive, four plays. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting Pater. Butker now to kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. Oh, nice spin. Oh, that brought back bad memories. And he's got daylight. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Washington. Chris Thompson with a return of 102 yards. And the Redskins have made this a one-score game. That was a special. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. This is going the other way. But he will not be able to bring this one back in the extra point attempt. Unsuccessful. I know it's easy to kind of shrug off a blocked extra point, but this game is shaping up to be a tight one. The second half, this could prove crucial. Yeah, we might look back on this one. We'll have to wait and see. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. That'll be taken in the end zone. Shreds the tackle. He'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Alex Smith and company heading back out there now. And he had the touchdown on the last drive, also four for four. Very, very effective. What does he need to do to translate that forward into this drive? Not think that what he saw in coverages last time is exactly what he's going to get again. He's got to play ahead and start, and start thinking to himself, okay, we just did that. What are they going to take away now? What do we go to as a counter and continue to encourage his offensive line to continue to give him time? They were really good on the last drive. It's a gain of six on the play, and that'll bring up second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. time as they're able to get him down. Only a yard of the pick up there, and it'll bring up a third down. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Smith on third down. And able to find Conley. And a big hit there as he runs into a brick wall right near the 39. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Now a first down throw. It's Smith. He's going to go deep for Conley. This is caught inside the 15. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. And now the offense operates in the red zone. Smith on first down. And he is caught at the seven-yard line. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively.
Throwing again is Smith. And nearly picked off there. Almost intercepted. Instead, second down. Not only did they drop what looked like an interception in the end zone, they blew a golden opportunity to shift the momentum. It's Smith. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. A great effort there in the final seconds of the first half. And the Chiefs are able to grow their lead. That's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen. Whittled it all the way down just about and still put the ball in the end zone. And just a methodical drive and something really to take into the lockers here. now to kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Time running short here. They'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we've come upon halftime here in Arrowhead with the Chiefs on top, as we'll send you down to Orlando as we check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? Okay, Brandon, thanks, and welcome, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get to the highlights. The Chiefs are up right now and are looking to keep up the pressure moving forward. The Redskins didn't play their best, and they'll need to be at their best now to come back. All right, let's roll those highlights. Chiefs with the ball midway through the second. Smith's got the completion here, and a quick three-play drive ends with a score. Chiefs go up by four. Chiefs line up for the kickoff. The return will start from the 49. And this long run goes for a touchdown. First and 10. Redskins trail now by four. The deep ball is on target here. And he'll eventually be brought down, but not before getting to the 12-yard line. Continuing on the drive, Smith's on target here. He caps off the seventh play drive with the score. So that'll do it from Orlando. Let's get back out to Arrowhead as we rejoin Brandon and Charles. So both teams have their marching orders and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This is taken at his four. And he'll take this across the 25. Couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. On second down, here's Smith. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The Kansas City first, Smith finding his fellow pro bowler, Kelsey. For the offense lining up first and 10. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he takes it across midfield to the 45. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. They stay on the ground again, it's Hunt. 
It'll go as a gain of 10 or to Kansas City first down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, put a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. A shotgun snap for Smith. That's out to Hill, right side complete. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. And you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call. You've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. And Hill running right through it. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Smith throwing on first down. Blitz coming and down he goes. Mason Foster coming hard on the blitz. He dumps him for a loss of eight. Now we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. And they do get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A very solid gain of 27. Tyreek Hill, he had the two fastest plays in the NFL last year. One on a kick return, one on a punt return, topping out at 23.24 miles per hour. That's advanced analytics right there. Our guy Marvin, you know what he said? <laughs> He's really fast. Smith. Oh, it's incomplete. That would have been big in the end zone if he could have held on. Instead, it's second down. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. Second down here after the incomplete pass. They'll try to run with Hunt, and he's going to bowl his way into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. A great play there with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast, game being on second half no matter what with his first five minutes first three whatever this was a big score to start the second half so that one a pretty time consuming 10 play drive and kareem hunt the one to finish it off as he did so with a touchdown run butker now to kick this one away that's fielded in the end zone and he will be brought down here at about the 17 yard line Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Kelly stripped. The ball is free. And fortunately for him, he's able to get it back, but it will be a loss on the play. All I can say about this play is that someone's living right. I mean, he's trying to gain yardage, trying to get upfield. Ball comes free. What's that panic that we've talked about oftentimes that you feel when you yeah, lose the ball? You can sense it. Oh, you can sense it. And somehow he got to it and was able to recover for a squad. And he'll take this one only up to about his 13-yard line. He'll get two yards back, but it's going to leave him with a long third and 13. 
Not the start to the drive they were hoping for. That run doesn't get them much at all. No, not at all. And that leaves them with third and long, which means you've got to dial up something pretty good. Think your best player. Now the hit comes, and Cousins lost the football. And fortunately for him, he's able to get it back. But it will be a loss on the play. But that was a big oops right there. But how about his ability to correct it? Loses the football, able to get it back himself. Yeah, pounced right back on it, keeps possession. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. It's the Redskins with a foot. Here's Tressway now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And it's fielded at the 34. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And it's Chiefs football. First and 10. And now here comes Kansas City. They had to go a long way on their last drive to score the touchdown. This time they get at least a little bit more of a cushion with field position. I have to think that with this field position, after what they did on the last drive, they might want to take a shot right now and try and cut down the length of the drive. Now Hunt. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And he still doesn't have a catch. We're into the second half. I think it's a little bit of a surprise to me, but that was one he should have caught. Absolutely. That was his best opportunity right there. He dropped it. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. They convert on third with a gain of 22. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era when we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. <laughs> That's all they care about right now. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Of play action. Here's Smith. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Demetrius Harris, his second touchdown on the season. And the Chiefs are able to grow their lead. They had the lead in the fourth, but still passing. Finding the big target for the touchdown. Now that lead grows even more. Everybody gets to join in the fun. You know, it doesn't have to just be the wide receivers catching touchdown passes. The tight end doesn't just have to do just the dirty work inside. He gets a chance to get into the end zone as well. So that drive spanned five plays. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Butker now to kick this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Now the Redskins offense, they get set to go back to work here. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working and call more of that. First down, here's Cousins. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And I think the ball's out. And the ball ends up out of bounds, so it'll be a loss on the play. And I have to admit, partner, that I've often thought that I don't like this rule. Where the offensive player fumbles the ball, it goes out of bounds. 
and they get to keep it. <laughs> that's just because you're a defensive guy. That's why you don't like it. Yeah, you're right. It is a slanted view, isn't it? But that's this is where, for the offensive team, the sideline is their friend. Usually it's not their friend. Yeah, exactly right. I actually played for a guy in college. You know what he used to name the sideline? Sammy. Sammy sideline and use him well. The Redskins on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is going to be third and 13. Again, it's Cousins. And the connection made to Terrell Pryor. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. 23 yards on the play. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. A good pick up there, a 22. I know we just saw a nice throwing catch, but how about the big guys up front it buying that time. time? Yeah, that's exactly what they did. They created time and allowed the space to happen, and it turned into a really nice play. So it's Redskin football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. They'll throw again. Cousins. And Reed with it over the middle. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. I don't think there's any question that Jordan Reed is as athletic as any tight end in the league. All right, I don't think there's any debate about that. The hard part is just him being able to be healthy. And when he's on the field, though, boy, does he take them to another level, doesn't he? He certainly does. Changes the game for them because they can use him in so many different spots and create mismatches against the defense. Cousins. And that is caught. But the back judge right there to say incomplete. Jordan Reed was the intended target. And it's third down. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden the secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. They'll come out in the pistol. Third and goal for Cousins. And this is taken in for a Redskins touchdown. Jamison Crowder, his first touchdown on the year. And the Redskins are able to close the gap just a bit. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower, bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball in the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. And the Chiefs are going to make the recovery. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation, and now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But, yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. But you know that old expression, it's not my night? It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. They run again with Hunt. And an alley to run. Down the numbers. There he goes. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Starting to really smell a 4-0 start right now. You can't ask for a better first quarter of the season than that. And you're not supposed to look ahead, but guess what? You're they, going to? They have to. <laughs> because when you get to four, if you get to 4-0, 
you're not just thinking playoffs now. You're thinking about, okay, this team has the capabilities of winning a Super Bowl. They could very well be the best team in the NFL at this moment. I think they played the best. I mean, there have been a few hiccups offensively and defensively, but probably the best team we've seen, right? And has the ability to get better. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge. It's almost like, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Three yards to go on second down. Working out of the gun, Cousins to the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. Ike's been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he'd run to ballet school. Got the toes down and stayed in bounds. And this will be a dump off for Kelly. Kelly stripped. The ball is free. I don't know about you, but I can hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That yeah, was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession. No turnover. <laughs> now the hit comes, and Cousins lost the football. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. As he'll stop it with 13 seconds left to play. Third down, Cousins. And this is brought in by Pryor. And now here comes their final timeout as they take it with eight ticks remaining. Cousins on first down. He's going to let it fly. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. Got to be wary of throwing an interception here because the defense knows they're going to get tested deep. That's why they're going to put a couple of extra guys back there to try and prevent that. Yeah, late in the fourth quarter here, trying to preserve the lead. One last shot now for Cousins. Now a desperation throw deep depth. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Kenneth Acker. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. A lot of scoring. There's no doubt about that in this one, Charles. Points, they were not at a premium. They were pretty easy to come by. <laughs> they were, but it was fun, wasn't it? Because both teams finding ways to click. And you know people who love this game, they also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 with three or four home runs mixed in. So for the Chiefs, that early momentum continues here as they move to 4-0. and And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Houston Texans. Meanwhile, for Washington, they'll fall back to 500 at 2-2. Two and two. And fortunately for them, they'll have the early bye next week as they return to action in week six. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Chiefs victorious here as we say so long from Arrowhead.